Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we are going to automate the HTTP request smuggling vulnerability. So we are going to do it with the help of two tools. First is Bugsuit extension HTTP request smuggler and the second one is Gwen's tool. You can find it on GitHub and I'll share the links. So let's start with the Bugsuit extension first. So what we have to do is first you can add the scope also and then you have to capture the request and send it to the repeater ok great so the second thing you have to do is right click and launch the smuggle probe attack you can monitor the activities in the logger tab so this is also a good extension to monitor the request going through the bug suit so as you can see the requests are going through Bugsuit and you can see this is all done by the extension itself so it might take some time but I have a previous result so this was done by the extension this result was shown by the extension so what was happening over here is so request 1 this was the first request and the response was it was ok 200 ok and the second request sent by the extension was this which gave us a 500 internal server error so this is a possible outcome of the re uh, of HTTP request smuggling and you can exploit it manually so now let's proceed with the second tool and I am using VPS by DigitalOcean, you can also use it, it's a great VPS. It gives you 100 credit free for the for 2 months, yes. So let's start with the smuggler.py. I have already duplicated this by clicking on raw and you can do it, ok. So and hyphen h so what we need is hyphen u and hyphen v for verbose and we will do we will give it value 2 so that it will show us all the request we will give it this url as we know it is vulnerable to request smuggling and hyphen v for verbose and the value 2 so now you can see that it is doing our work it might take some time but definitely will give you the results as you can see it has already started giving us results that this is vulnerable to TECL2 vanilla and vulnerable ok so here is the request and it might give you many results also that it is vulnerable or not ok so this was the demo of the second tool and thank you for watching and please subscribe